Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was sent a message and I want to pass it on. There was no way I could pull it out and upload it, so I'm going to have to retell the story. A lady who works for law enforcement, thank God she had a discerning eye. And she felt a warning in her gut. Something is not right. Something is not sitting right. And she listened to the signals. Now, she was at a, like a truck stop, a rest over when you get off the freeway and you gas up and you juice up and get all kind of goodies to finish your trip with on her way to visit relatives. She had her daughters in the car and a young one in the back. I believe she said there were four or five of them. This is a public warning. I would call it a public alert for holiday travel. She was sitting there getting out of the car to get gas. And on the side, you know, a lot of these convenience stores, they got little things for people to sit on. And this guy was sitting there. And when she got out of the car, the guy kept his head down like this, like I'm keeping mine. And this is what he did with his hand. He holds up a fist like that and then puts it down. Now, she thought that was fishy. But people do weird stuff when they're under the influence. She didn't dismiss it. She gets inside, takes care of business, comes out. When she approaches her car, she notices a van pulls right in front of her. Now, there was nothing in front of her before. But now there's a van in front of her. Listen to this. And a guy that looks about six foot four gets out the car. Now, I think it was one female and she was driving. There was one black guy and four white guys, if I remember the story correctly. You got to listen to this, especially young folks that don't pay attention. All right. Now, and you young brothers, you need to look out for your sisters, for your mothers. You, you older men, you need to be on the lookout. You need to really watch. If things don't look right, if there's a van too close to the vicinity, you wait till that van pulls off before you any of you get out the car. All right. She approaches her car, and a guy walks up to her from the van and begs for money, talking about he has a baby in the van. Now, she knew something was up because all four people that got out the van were smoking cigarettes. And when she looked in that sliding door, it was an old-fashioned van, she said it was pitch black in there. Those are the two things. How would four adults be sitting in a van smoking around a young baby? Number two, why is it pitch black inside in broad daylight? So she notices one of the guys walks around to the passenger side of the car. And she hurried up and just got in her car and locked everything up, started that thing up, and took off. She said, what would have happened? I don't know if she backed out or went sideways, went around them or whatever. She got around them. What would have happened if she had been alone? Now, I'm sure this is what she thought, too. You got too many people in the car. This is going to be a mess. It's much easier when you pick a person off when they're all by themselves traveling. You guys have got to be careful. Thanksgiving is coming up. A lot of you are going to be on the road. I was at the doctor's office this afternoon, and a lady was telling me how she, would, she and her family were going to drive all the way out to Arizona. Her English wasn't good enough for me to tell her the story and warn her. But I'm telling you, you've got to be careful.
at least she had a lot of men that was going to be in the car with her. But you have got to be careful. You've got to be watchful. Because people disappear for all kind of reasons. Satanic rituals. Trafficking. Whatever. You've got to be careful. I wish you all a very merry, a very happy, a very unified, safe, Thanksgiving. But you've got to help that happen. You got to pray. You got to watch and pray. And if things don't happen like you think they're not jiving right, get in your car, drive away, come back later to get your money. If you got to leave your money there, it's better to lose some dollars than it is to lose your life or some family members. All right, that's your warning. God bless you to be safe this Thanksgiving and during the Christmas and New Year's holidays.